All right, let's find f of x equals this mass right here. And they want us to find all, factor it and find all the zeros, given that x plus 2 is a factor. Now, they didn't have to tell us that. We, they could have just said factor completely, and we would have had to figure that, we would have had to figure that one out. That would be the next step, but I'm not going to talk about that since they didn't say that. Since they told us this factor, we're going to use synthetic division because that's the quickest and easiest way. Put a negative 2 out front. 2, 1, I'm, taking, I'm grabbing all these linear coefficients, or all these coefficients. Well, let me erase that and rewrite that. Bring this down, 2, multiply, negative 4, bring, add straight down, negative 3, multiply, that's 6, add down, that's 1, multiply, that's negative 2, and I get 0. That better be a 0, because if it wasn't a 0, either I did something wrong or they lied to me. But they didn't lie to me, and they told me the truth. And so here now is my 2x squared minus 3x plus 1. There is the other factor. And now what can I do with this factor? Find the zeros. I can find the zeros of that in either using the quadratic formula or factoring or completing the square or looking at my graph if they allow me to use a graphing calculator. But I'm going to just take a, take a guess here that this factors nicely and I'm using guess and check. I gotta put two, see how I split up two x squared into two x times x? Yeah. And one, it's gotta be either both positive one or both negative one. Well, it's gotta be negative because that's a negative three right there. So let's check that out, see if that worked. Check it now, guessed and checked. That's negative two x minus one x, which is negative three x, that worked. So there are, my, there are my zeros. I'm sorry, there are my factors. I'm going to add the x plus 2 in. There are my three factors of this. See how there's a 3 there? That tells me that there's got to be 3. And now my zeros come from those factors. Just set each one of these equal to 0 and solve. So my zeros are negative 2. That comes from that one. Positive 1. That comes from that one. And positive 1 half. That comes from that first one there. So these are my factors. Those are my zeros. I'm done.